a fair bit is the whole issue of, of criminalisation uh, and you know it's, it's, it's a fact I suppose most people don't want to see women or healthcare providers criminalised but is, is that a, a prevailing sort of issue that your staff would have to deal with it's, I suppose the overhang or the, the threat of criminalisation and what would decriminalisation mean in terms of the delivery of year services? Uh, I think there's, I mean there is no question that the, the criminal sanctions in the law you know do have a chilling effect I mean to be perfectly honest I can't see why anybody put in a 14 year prison sentence unless they wanted it to have a chilling effect you know it seems obvious um, and I think as a group you know um, doctors are very very anxious about anything that would damage their reputation in any way and being associated with potential criminal charges even if you don't actually end up being sent to prison is a huge threat and definitely influences people in the way they actually manage consultations. So that instead of actually being comfortable and free in your discussions with somebody, you're continuously in your mind trying to be guarded and careful about anything you might say that could possibly be interpreted as not actually in uh, keeping with the law. So I think if you decriminalise, you take away that layer, you still still ha can have lots of ethical and clinical guidelines and I mean the Medical Council still is in a position to sanction doctors who are found to be behaving inappropriately so it's, it shouldn't actually mean that people think that doctors will be somehow all behaving badly if there's no criminal sanction there mm. but I think it just will allow them to actually have a freer conversation with the woman in that position. Mm. And, and